Good morning everyone. So today we're back at the Corsa E. It's the 2016 model. It's a 1.4 engine. I'm sure the code was LDD, Lima Delta Delta. And the code was for the, the pedal position sensor. So there's a new one out of Vauxhall. You can see it's mounted by using it's three bolts. There's two at the top and one there at the bottom. And there it's from the back. And there's also this multi-plug, you can see there, that's where the multi-plug goes on the top. So it's just a, a simple case of bolt on, bolt off. So what I meant to say was thanks very much to those who chimed in in the comments, especially to Joe, the uh, V for Vauxhall. He confirmed that there was a problem on this model with the, the pedal position sensor, and that made me feel a whole lot better about my diagnosis. Joe's a Vauxhall specialist. So anyway, we'll show you how it uh, fits into the car. Right everybody, we've finally cracked it, so here's what I've learnt from this job. Remove the light switch. There's a light switch, there's a light switch there. So you don't have, need to use any tools, you just manipulate it out that with your fingers. So you don't want to damage this surrounding there. So remove the light switch and then there's a multi-plug in at the back there. Disconnect that, right. So you can then see right into where the, see, this is difficult. The throttle pedal switch, the throttle, the accelerator pedal switch is. So you see up the top, you see the two bolts, you see the, the shiny mark there, I think you can see that. Now what you do is you use a long extension, a, what do you call it, quarter, that's what I used. Out a little, believe it or not. So there you go, I just added, one, two, three, and a little flexy bit at the end. So that's, what did we say, Roddy? 10 mil? 10 mil. 10 mil socket at the end, and a long uh, extension. So that gets right in about that. So you just feed that in through there, and you can get access to the two top bolts. Now, there is only two top bolts on this thing. So what you then do, let me see, you then lift the pedal up. I'll show you this. It lifts up and then it drops down, then you need to remove the multi-plug. So I'll need to get my hands up through the back there, but that is far, that you don't have to remove any of this trim. Oops, it's a light that's bad here this morning. You don't have to remove any of this trim, save yourself a whole lot of hassle, just uh, remove that light switch. I'll show you once I get the multi-plug out. So there we go, that's the pedal out, and you can see the, mul the multi-plug hanging there. So it was just a matter of put my hand up round to, I hope you can see it, you slide back, there's a slider on the multi-plug here. You just, oh dear, this is impossible. <laughs> you slide back on the multi-plug, and that's it comes out. I've got Roddy's new torch up here, oh dear. So there you go, I think you can you can see that quite clearly, you slide that out. So it'll just be, uh, putting it back in, it'll be the reversal of removal, see, easier said than done. But the point to note here is, this torch was there. Bloody, this is a bad bison. <laughs> there's a bit, there's a little plastic leg at the bottom there, where my finger is, and the bottom of the accelerator pedal sensor slides into that, so there's actually only two bolts, so it slides into that, and then you put the bolts in the top. So hopefully you can see that. It's a little bracket that slides into. Woo. So, that's the pedal all assembled back up again, so I think you can see there's my long ratchet going onto the top right hand bolt. So in order to offer the bolts back in, my old pal Roddy came up with the idea, we just used oh, the magnet. We used the magnet there and offered the bolt up into the, the right hand side one, that worked perfect, but on the left one, hand side one, we couldn't get into that, so what we'd done we put a bit of paper uh, between the socket and the bolt which held the bolt in and I managed to manipulate that one in the left. I think you can actually still see the bit of paper in there. Uh, it's a green bit of paper. There it's just here. So everything's back together. As I said, it's only two bolts. The multi-plug went on no problem when I put my hand up the back and pushed it in. So that's all back together. And it's just a matter of uh, popping this switch back in. So. Once you know how, it's dead easy. 
Anyway, cheers.